Joe. Peace. He sleeps. Thank you. Oh, God. That was brutal. Dehydration. Joe? Huh. The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall. Better than the muted colors of this hospital. Right. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the ones who choose the colors <laughs> that heal. Green for life. I guess so. Blue. Hmm. For comfort? Purple stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> This chair is too small and sticks to my skin. Yep. I hate vinyl. Let's get up then. And go. Oh! The arcade! Blue. Purple. Hmm. <laughs> the ocean, maybe? No. Under the ocean. Silent. Right. Warm. And salty. Like tears. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. This is starting to take it out of me, I have to admit, guys. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, Jolie. Shh. Right. Oh, don't throw your head, buddy. Don't. Is he? Here we go. Bouncing around. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I love your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> is that funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. So? <laughs> Mm. Oh, he won't stop crying. Oh, I can't. I'm hungry. Right. This. He's hungry. This game started when Ryan. Uh, he was in the hospital with Joel, and Joel wouldn't get better, and he tried everything to make him feel better or get better, and he couldn't, and he wanted to make a game about that powerlessness about having a sick child and not being able to help them and that's where this game started try food try bouncing him try eating try f none of it works i think this is the scene that started this game does eating help He's screaming louder. Buddy, don't you want juice? No. He hits the box. Juice he doesn't work. It. Nothing's gonna work. Food? <laughs> he drinks it greedily. Big, deep Good. gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. Yes. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot and tears and juice. We're good. And then he vomits and I catch it. Right. I always catch it. I know you're thirsty, buddy, but you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. What do you do? This is heart-wrenching. so late, Joel. Lay down. I can't hold you. I can't make you feel better. Shh. Shh. Okay, buddy, okay. I'll hold you. Oh my god, it doesn't help. Joel bug. You look 
look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Oh. Joel. Joel. I know you're mad. Please stop. Oh. Please. Stop. I shake. I weep. I pray. I plead. I need peace. Oh God, this is so hard to. You are. Not talking to Joel anymore. He's talking to God right now. Not dead. Not there. With you. God, I want to be here with me. Please. Joel? Peace. He sleeps. Thank you. Oh, God. That was... Brutal. Guys, uh, Ryan, after this actual experience in the hospital, decided he wanted to make a game about it. And Amy thought it sounded crazy. Who would want to play a game about There's a story in the Bible helping your son when he's sick and boat. nothing works? And then when Ryan showed her the game, she got on board and... Amy was there in making this game, right? Along with Ryan. As a tribute, as a memorial, as a way to capture... The furious storm hits the sea and everything that thinks Joel headed. was. Where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? I'm not religious, but... The thi He's asleep. In the back of the boat. The thing so his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up. Yep. And he says to the storm, Quiet. Be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Right. You're freaking out about drowning he asks when his disciples why they are so scared. When all he has to do is and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. For not having faith? Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was going to just let them die. Made it to that lighthouse, that lighthouse in um, the painting in the doctor's office. There's a car under here. And a sandbox. Oh, we're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in Nevada. We're in California. Okay. It's a family vacation, a road trip. <laughs> so, now that we're in California, how much longer to San Francisco? About three and a half hours, bud. Oh. Oh, God. Well, it's 10 a.m. now, so that means you guys can grab one more item from your road trip bag. And it's my turn to be the king. What a neat idea. Can I get up in the lighthouse? Is that possible? Justin True King, but now we have to do it as a font. My first edict as king is we dance like, like monkeys for 30 minutes. Dance like monkeys <laughs> like for 30 minutes. minutes. Nope, nope, babe. He said 30. He said 30. We must do what he says. <laughs> this is a road trip car game to keep your kids occupied. <laughs> That reminds me of my dad growing up. 
It's always a goof. <laughs> There's a monkey tickles. <laughs> My second edict as king is allow you to be the king. Oh. oh. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke, King Isaac. No, Eliza, was that too loud for you? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. Who's Elijah? We were too loud, the new kid? When we were in the doctor's office and we were Amy, finding out that Joel was running out of options, we, uh, she talked about a new baby and said, if Joel dies, I won't love this new baby. Maybe that's Elijah? Ryan? Joel? Head back to the car, I guess. Oh, Eliza, it's okay. You were a very good, noble, just, and true king. But now we have to do it as a boss. My first edict as king is we dance like egg monkeys for 30 minutes. Okay, we heard this already. Where do we go next? Nope. Nope, babe. He said 30. He must be working. There. There. It's a guitar. So Joel died. Everyone does eventually, I suppose. Huh. It's a song about Joel. He loves Joel so much. Oh, he loves Joel. The Bible tells me so. Wow. There are going to be long stretches, I guess, of me not talking in this game, guys. But more than that, if he does die, will Jesus even care? Let Ryan do it for Will us. Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being is insignificant. are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul, stranded on this blue raft, awash in a sea of stars, ice, and dust, matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? We're following this family through the ups and downs of a child dying of cancer. Their worries that God isn't listening. Guys, I'm going to take a break here. Thank you so much for watching That Dragon Cancer up until now. We're going to carry on the story tomorrow. And uh, if you want to catch the whole playlist, I'll give you a card for it right now. Thank you for watching.